Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Being Guru Electrical Channel. This is Mujib Raza with you with the session 10 on the PLC programming course. Today we will see one example from the industrial environment. We have two conveyors. Conveyor 1 uh, manually operated by X0 input push button and X1 uh, stop push button. Then we have a sensor at X4 which is counting the boxes on the conveyor. So then we have conveyor 2 which is manually operated from X2 and manually stop from X3. Uh, then we have conveyor 1 motor connected to output of the PLC at Y0 and conveyor 2 connected to output of the PLC at Y1. So now what's the logic? The logic is uh, initially we will st start the conveyor 1. So the boxes will pass in front of the X4 and when 4 box pass through the X4 after delay of 2 seconds conveyor 2 should start automatically. So this is how we can program inside the PNC. So now let's start. We will take one uh, new file, class 10, PLC. Let's take uh, SS. Okay. This is the ladder logic. So initially we need to turn on our conveyor one. So we will take the start push button manually operated so we will write here start conveyor 1 click ok then we will take for the stop we will take nc we will write here stop push button conveyor 1 we'll click ok and i will write here out y0 conveyor 1 motor and click ok also i will add one latching contact for the con for this i will take y1 y0 here in the parallel and click ok and i will connect it here this already we uh, covered in the previous lecture the latching contact okay so this is the little logic for the conveyor one so now for the conveyor two uh, we need to make the counting ladder so what we will take i will take here uh, x4 for the counting i will click i will write here counting sensor i will click ok and i will take now counter c and d c0 k4 k so c0 c and d is for counter c0 is the counter number k4 is the number of counts which is 4 click ok so the counter is added now uh, what i want to achieve after c counter 0 reached 4 so i want to turn on my timer for the delay of 2 seconds so i will take the contact from here i will take c c is for counter and c0 and click ok and i will take the timer tmr t0 k20 I will click OK. So the timer is here now. Then from this timer, I will actuate my conveyor 2. So first take the manual push button, start conveyor 2 because we need the manual start stop push button for the conveyor 2 also. So I will take start conveyor 2 push button at X2 and for the stop i will take nc and it will be x3 stop push button conveyor 2 i will click ok in the parallel i will add latching for the y1 ok and i will connect it here i will write here out y1 here out by one so now let's see uh, what we have done this is this rung for the conveyor one operation this rung for counting when the counting reaches four this timer will operate and at the operation of this timer the conveyor two will start but the conveyor two uh, conveyor two motor 
okay so this is the we make the manual operation but we need the auto operation for this conveyor also so what we will take I will take from here one contact more for the for the timer I will take from here T0 auto on click ok and I will connect it here so now let's check uh, for is there any problem or no so I will compile it the compiling, uh, compiling is complete and there is no error I will download into the PLC and put the PLC in the online mode and in the run mode so initially when I turn the conveyor one on and release the push button so the conveyor will start now but now the box will start passing in front of this counter so initially uh, so keep an eye on this k0 when it run is on for one time it will turn k1 then k2 then k3 when it is k4 this timer will start when the timer is two seconds the output is on so this is how we can program the our motors or conveyors inside the PLC so I hope you like the video if you like like and share with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you mm -hmm.